As someone with a disability, going into a polling facility, knowing that I have an accessible way to vote is extraordinarily empowering. Andrea Jenkins, self-advocate, smiling and holding her white cane in a voting center. Then Sarah Gaver, self-advocate. I'm able to voice what I think this country needs and I have the right to do it on my own with my own independence, however I'm capable. I'm Andrea Jenkins. I live and work in Tallahassee, Florida. I am wearing a blue dress with a cardigan, black cardigan, and I have hazel eyes and blonde hair. I'm Sarah Gaver. I am from Jacksonville, Florida. I am 28 years old, white female with blonde hair, and I use a power wheelchair to get around. A poll worker guides Sarah into a voting center, then an accessible voting machine with on-screen options to vote using an audio tactile interface, sip and puff device, or paddle switches. Andrea. Prior to learning about the accessible voting machine, I would have friends try to assist me with the voting. It didn't seem very private or discreet. Sarah. We need to be able to have that privacy just like anybody else would, standing at their own ballot box. It's wonderful to be able to have the option of voting on my own. Andrea sits in front of an accessible voting machine and uses an audio tactile interface to vote. It's very important that you vocalize what accommodations you do need so that way you can be as independent as possible. Sarah uses a mouth stick to type on a touch screen. As someone who's visually impaired, I utilize the ATI, which speaks out the selections. For me, it's a table that I can access at the right height for my wheelchair. And and then a machine that's touch screen since I use a mouth stick to be able to push the buttons and the keys. Have no fear, it's a very simple process. They will help you to get set up and get oriented to the machine and how it works. Poll workers help Andrea and Sarah cast their printed ballots. Then, people using paddle switches, a mouth stick, and a sip and puff device to vote. I believe it's important for individuals with disabilities to make their voice heard in society. I voted stickers being placed on Andrea and Sarah's shirts. It's something that you have the right to go and do, and so you should do it. <laughs> Sarah exits the voting center. Learn more about accessible voting in Florida. AccessTheVote.org. Access the Vote and Disability Rights Florida Organization logos.